Welcome back to Draw My Life. In honor of Black History Month, it's fair to say that this one is long overdue. Hit the like button if you are a part of the beehive. This woman really needs no introduction. Let's go. So Beyonce Giselle Knowles Carter born September 4, 1981, is an American singer, songwriter, actress, and record producer. Born and raised in Houston, Texas, Beyonce performed in various singing and dancing competitions as a child. She rose to fame in the late 1990s as the lead singer of Destiny's Child, one of the best-selling girl groups of all time. Beyonce is often cited as an influence by other artists. During Destiny's Child's hiatus, Beyonce made her theatrical film debut with a role in the U.S. box office No. 1 Austin Powers in Goldmember, 2002, and began her solo music career. She became the first music act to debut at No. 1 with their first six solo studio albums on the Billboard 200. Her debut album Dangerously in Love, 2003, featured four Billboard Hot 100 Top 5 songs, including the number one singles Crazy in Love featuring rapper Jay-Z and Baby Boy featuring singer-rapper Sean Paul. Following the disbandment of Destiny's Child in 2006, she released her second solo album, Birthday, which contained her first U.S. number one solo single Irreplaceable, and Beautiful Liar, which topped the charts in most countries. Beyoncé continued her acting career with starring roles in The Pink Panther, 2006, Dreamgirls, 2006, and Obsessed, 2009. Her marriage to Jay-Z and her portrayal of Etta James in Cadillac Records, 2008, influenced her third album, I Am. Sasha Fierce, 2008, which earned a record-setting six Grammy Awards in 2010. It spawned the UK number one single If I Were a Boy, the US number one single Single Ladies, Put a Ring on It, and the top five single Halo. After splitting from her manager and father Matthew Knowles in 2010, Beyonce released the album for 2011. It was influenced by 1970s funk, 1980s pop, and 1990s soul. She achieved back-to-back -back widespread critical acclaim for her sonically experimental visual albums, Beyoncé, 2013, and Lemonade, 2016, the latter was the world's best-selling album of 2016 and the most acclaimed album of her career, exploring themes of infidelity and womanism. In 2018, she released Everything Is Love, a collaborative album with her husband, Jay-Z, as the Carters. As a featured artist, Beyoncé topped the Billboard Hot 100 with the remixes of Perfect by Ed Sheeran in 2017 and Savage by Megan Thee Stallion in 2020. The same year, she released the musical film and visual album Black is King to widespread critical acclaim. Beyoncé is one of the world's best-selling recording artists, having sold 118 million records worldwide. Her success during the 2000s was recognized with the Recording Industry Association of America's Top Certified Artist of the Decade, as well as Billboard Magazine's Top Radio Songs Artist and the Top Female Artist of the Decade. Beyoncé is the most nominated woman at the Grammy Awards and has the second most wins for a woman with a total of 24. She is also the most awarded artist at the MTV Video Music Awards, with 24 wins, including the Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award. In 2014, she became the highest-earning black musician in history and was listed among Time's 100 most influential people in the world for a second year in a row. Forbes ranked her as the most powerful female in entertainment on their 2015 and 2017 lists. She occupied the sixth place for Time's Person of the Year in 2016, and in 2020, was named one of the 100 women who defined the last century by the same publication. Beyoncé was also included on Encyclopedia Britannica's 100 Women list in 2019, for her contributions to the entertainment industry. Beyoncé Giselle Knowles was born in Houston, Texas, to Celestine Tina Knowles, née Beyoncé, a hairdresser and salon owner, and Matthew Knowles, a Xerox sales manager. Beyoncé's name is a tribute to her mother's maiden name. Her younger sister Solange Knowles is also a singer and a former backup dancer for Destiny's Child. Solange and Beyoncé are the first sisters to have both had number one albums. Matthew is African-American, and Tina is of Louisiana Creole descent, 
French, Native American, and African, with distant Jewish, Spanish, Chinese, and Indonesian ancestry. Through her mother, Beyoncé is a descendant of Acadian leader Joseph Broussard, as well as a descendant of Jean Vincent Diabadi de Saint Castin. In 2018, Beyoncé researched her ancestry and found out that she is descended from a slave owner. Beyoncé attended St. Mary's Montessori School in Houston, where she enrolled in dance classes. Her singing talent was discovered when dance instructor Darlette Johnson began humming a song and she finished it, able to hit the high-pitched notes. Beyoncé's interest in music and performing continued after winning a school talent show at age 7, singing John Lennon's Imagine to beat 15-16-year-olds. In the fall of 1990, Beyoncé enrolled in Parker Elementary School, a music magnet school in Houston, where she would perform with the school's choir. She also attended the high school for the performing and visual arts and later Alif Elsik High School. Beyoncé was also a member of the choir at St. John's United Methodist Church as a soloist for two years. In 2014, Beyoncé was listed again on the Time 100 and also featured on the cover of the issue. In 2018, Rolling Stone included her on its Millennial 100 list and Brittany Spanos wrote, For 20 years, she's been a stately pop and R&B presence. Destiny's Child countered the glaringly white bubblegum of the time with unmatchable vocals and choreography, and their success made her solo career fail-proof. It's one reason Beyoncé may be the most universally beloved artist of the Gen Y. A figure of talent, beauty, and grace, Queen Bey has developed into the most exciting artist of the millennium as well as a political figure, setting the tone for how other major stars speak about feminism and the Black Lives Matter movement with the release of her landmark Lemonade album in 2016. In 2010, Beyoncé founded her own entertainment company Parkwood Entertainment which formed as an imprint based from Columbia Records, the company began as a production unit for videos and films in 2008. Parkwood Entertainment is named after a street in Houston, Texas where Beyoncé once lived. With headquarters in New York City, the company serves as an umbrella for the entertainer's various brands in music, movies, videos, and fashion. The staff of Parkwood Entertainment have experiences in arts and entertainment, from filmmaking and video production to web and fashion design. In addition to departments in marketing, digital, creative, publicity, fashion design and merchandising, the company houses a state-of-the-art editing suite, where Beyoncé works on content for her worldwide tours, music videos, and television specials. Parkwood Entertainment's first production was the musical biopic Cadillac Records, 2008, in which Beyoncé starred and co-produced. The company has also distributed Beyoncé's albums such as her self-titled fifth studio album, 2013, Lemonade, 2016, and The Carters, Everything is Love, 2018. Beyoncé has also signed other artists to Parkwood such as Chloe X. Halley, who performed at Super Bowl LIII in February 2019. In 2002, Beyoncé, Kelly Rowland and Tina Knowles built the Knowles Rowland Center for Youth, a community center in downtown Houston. After Hurricane Katrina in 2005, Beyoncé and Roland founded the Survivor Foundation to provide transitional housing to displaced families and provide means for new building construction, to which Beyoncé contributed an initial $250,000. The foundation has since expanded to work with other charities in the city, and also provided relief following Hurricane Ike three years later. Beyoncé also donated $100,000 to the Gulf Coast Ike Relief Fund. In 2007, Beyoncé founded the Knowles to Menos Place Apartments, a housing complex offering living space for 43 displaced individuals. As of 2016, Beyoncé had donated $7 million for the maintenance of the complex. Beyoncé has received numerous awards. As a solo artist she has sold over 17 million albums in the US, and over 75 million worldwide, as of February 2013. Having sold over 100 million records worldwide, a further 60 million additionally with Destiny's Child, Beyoncé is one of the best-selling music artists of all time. The Recording Industry Association of America RIAA, listed Beyoncé as the top certified artist of the 2000s decade, with a total of 64 certifications. Do you want a video of her little sister? Let us know in the comments.